Okay. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit in general about how to um, describe somebody using a descriptive adjective, right, and, and what that might look like. Um, now, this is a general rule. I'll, I'll show you exceptions uh, here right now. So, um, let me show you the sentence in English. John is a tall man, right? So, um, I want to say this in Spanish, and uh, I'll show you what that would look like. Okay, John is a tall man. John es un hombre alto. Okay, so we point out something. Man in Spanish is hombre. Right. Tall in Spanish is alto. So you, you might be asking, uh, why are you putting an adjective after the noun? Right. Um, in general, this is the order of a of an adjective that's describing a, a noun. That's not always the case. Um, let me give you an example. Um, some verbs, uh, such as bueno and malo, right? I'll give you bueno, right? So, uh, let's say, I, I want to say, uh, John is a good person, or John is a good man. Let's let's do John is a good man. So, John is. Un buen hombre. And, and by the way, uh, one rule about bueno is that if you have a masculine noun after it, the singular, you're going to drop the O, right? doesn't apply to feminine nouns. You're just going to say buena. You're going to add A instead of O. Um, so, John es un buen hombre. So, uh, the word bueno is one of those where you're going to put the adjective in front to say a good person, a good whatever, right? Um let me give you an example of uh, grande also, right? Um, let's just understand uh, that John is here. We're talking about John, right? John es un, buen, es un hombre grande, right? So he is a big man, right? So let me show you how grande is about to change uh, meaning when you put it up front, all right? And this, these meaning changes only apply to a few words like uh, bueno, um, grande is one of them, and uh, pobre is another, right? Uh, pobre would mean the difference between saying uh, you know, poor John or John is a poor man. So uh, maybe I'll talk about that later. But I'll uh, let me get back to what happens with grande in this case. Uh, in addition to the obvious change, uh, I just dropped de from grande, right? And this is unique to grande. This is not a conjugation. This is just what happens when you put grande in front of a uh, a noun. Um, es un gran hombre. Now I'm saying he is a great man, right? Versus saying he is a big man. So uh, when you have grande after the noun, right? Obviously going to be grande and it's going to be big. With uh, gran, however, uh, gran is going to be in front of that noun and it's going to mean uh, great, whatever, great man. Gran ciudad, big, great city. Right, so um, that is uh, those are a couple unique things to you know, unique exceptions to.
that first rule I showed you, right? So just remember when you're describing something or someone in general, um, your adjective is going to come after the noun that it is describing, all right? Now, um, with uh, examples such as bueno and uh, grande, um, there's going to be a uh, small difference, right? There's going to be a bit of a difference in meaning whether you put grande or bueno in, in front or after the noun, right? So I just wanted to show that to you. Um, I do have a presentation about uh, adjectives in general, other rules, so um, take a look at that if you'd like to know more.